A jailed Memphis activist has a new attorney on her case, but she still won't be getting out. Now we've been telling you about the conviction of Black Lives Matter leader Pam Moses for illegal voting. Her case was back in court this morning. WRG's April Thompson has the latest on her push for freedom. Probation violation coming up. Pam Moses was the topic of a discussion in court Wednesday, only she wasn't there after reportedly coming down with COVID. Her new attorney says she's in jail and sick. Her lupus medication is not given to her, and now she has COVID, so and nobody's treating her. Moses faces up to eight years in jail for violating probation and forgery, perjury, and tampering with evidence charges related to illegal voting. She hired a new attorney after complaining her court-appointed attorney at trial did not represent her interest. Her new attorney says Moses also needs bail so she can care for her young son and parents. And no bail doesn't fit the charge. The allegation of what she was sentenced is not a class L or class B felony. It's a class D. But Judge Mark Ward, who read off several violent offenses made by Moses in the past, denied the bail request. The probation report says about Ms. Moses, she has displayed threatening, aggressive, or violent behaviors in the community during her lifetime. Moses, who spoke with WREG a few months ago, believes she is being targeted because of her outspokenness and her desire to run for office. I maintain I did nothing but complain on public officials that were corrupt. That's all I did. I complained about them and I put it in writing. Her supporters agree holding candlelight vigils outside the jail where Moses is being held. It seems a little bit more than a coincidence that someone who helped register over 6,000 voters with Rise Up Memphis and uh, Rise Up Memphis uh, is locked up for charges of voting is or having any case against them for voting. Um, it, it just smacks of retaliation. April Thompson, WREG News Channel 3. Regarding Moses' claims of not getting medical attention, the Shelby County Sheriff's Office told us all inmates have access to daily medical care. Judge Ward says he will consider Moses' request for bond at our sentencing on January 21st. All right.